Well, there he is, folks. And guess what that is? That's a golden shiner. And here it is. The water temperature is 46 degrees. Okay, that's cold. It's uh, December the uh, 9th. It's real cold. But now, what had happened is I've always wanted to show this, how to catch shiners in the wintertime and what to look for. Now, let's get this shiner in here, put some water on him. Now, you talking about a good bait, a supreme bait for bass, largemouth bass, or big spots here on Gunnersville Lake. Get us some water in here. And uh, what I want to do is talk about how to recognize and what to look for when it comes to catching your own live bait. And I happen to be <laughs> good at it. A lot of years practice, okay? But we're going to put some water in there a little bit more and hopefully we can catch enough to fish with. Uh, and we'll use them right here on Gunnersville Lake. But it's all in technique. What I'm using is a little bitty jig. I mean, this is a little bitty one. The hook size, I think, is about like a, a 12, real small. And I, and I got a piece of, uh, it's a Berkeley jig made by Powerbait, okay? And I'm fishing it under float. Now we're going to go right, we're going to slip right over here. This corner right here is eat up with shiners. Okay. So let's slip back over here and let's see if we can see them come to the surface. Well, that's what I look for. They'll come up to the surface and uh, make little ripples and things of that nature. And I recognize the ripple. Matter of fact, I see one back there right now. There's one right there. Let's make us a cast over there. Yeah, we didn't quite reach him, but there he is anyway. Okay. You talking about some good largemouth bass, especially here on Gunnersville Lake or any lake. That's a good size too. That's not too big. I mean, a three pounder would hit that bait right there without any trouble let's put him in here okay i mean that corner is eat up with them i don't want to get too close i'm going to back up just a little bit and uh but what was i saying yeah the way we would catch them in florida we would chum them up with loaf bread and throw a bait net over them there's another one come up right there I mean, it's full of them. I'd love to have about, I don't know, a couple dozen of those. Okay, made my cast, and there he is. Now, Gunnersville Lake is full of these. You just have to recognize what to look for. I mean, the water temperature is extremely cold. But still, in some places... You can find them, that's a perfect size. Is it not? Let's put him in here. There's another one. Okay, that whole corner is just to eat up with them. And they fight too. <laughs> that's a big one. Not too big though. Golly, what some good bait. These shiners better than shad, in my opinion. Absolutely. Absolutely. When you put a, a big shiner like that in front of a bass, he's going to have him. But now to catch shiners, you need a little bitty bait like that. Very important.
there's a lot of them on the back end of this but I don't want to really crowd them too much because if I do they're gonna come out of there they'll split then I won't have any bait so it's <laughs> it's really a strategic way of fishing this water is real clear on him this little two pound line I hope a bass don't decide to get him but I want you to look is that one too big absolutely not a five pounder would choke that down without any trouble at all they're definitely farther back than this I'm just catching the outskirts of them. The main concentration is probably about 60 foot in front of me. Okay, there he is. And them things fight. <laughs> They're biggins. Definitely big ones, but I'm not kidding you. You put one of these in front of a bass, I mean, four or five pound and bigger, he ain't gonna resist it. He's gonna choke that thing down. Okay. There we go. That's a good size right there. a great size Put in the bucket. gotta be real quiet and stealthy there's one hit the top of the water there I'll probably catch one on this cast they're so alert shiners are when they're on top of the surface like that just by that cork hitting the top of the water that's another good size and I lost him just by this cork hitting the top of the water it attracts them there he is there's another one now this size right here is good ones I mean there's nothing wrong with the great big ones but the fact of the matter is to get a quick bite from a three or four pound fish, this is the size right here. The big ones is for trophy fish. Golly. No sooner than he hit the water than that devil was on there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Another good way to catch them. Obviously, if you had you some red worms and a little bitty hook, that'd be probably a better way to catch them. But uh, I always have these little jigs like these right here with me at all times because I see them oftentimes in the winter. There he is. Golly, boom. It's a big one, too. All right. That's a jumbo shiner fish. Guaranteed that boy. then we ended up catching about two two and a half dozen it worked I was fortunate I caught some now um, tomorrow 
I'm going after some big ones with them. I catch a lot of big bass. I mean huge bass uh, using golden shiners in the winter time. Uh, some of the biggest ones I've ever caught has been on shiners. But uh, we'll see what happens. That'll be the next video. And uh, I'm looking forward to going. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's see if we catch some big ones on the next video. And you know what? Hey, remember!